In this video, I'll be doing the player ratings for Arsenal's 5-0 victory against Crystal Palace. I mean, very, very good overall performance, I thought. Yes, not as uh, maybe intense as we all wanted to, but still, 5 goals, clean sheet, on the return from the winter break. Really not much to uh, complain about, in my opinion, so very happy with that. Uh, check out the live match review if you've already seen it, where I go into more detail of the game. But just as for the player ratings, starting off with David Ryer in goal. And um, David Ryer thought he was very, very impressive. Didn't really have any, you know, close range shots to save. A couple of long shots from like Lerma, a free kick from Eze, did pretty well with it, did what he needed to. Thought his uh, cross claiming was very good, very composed on the ball when they tried pressing us. Goal went long when he needed to, went short, it was very composed. It played a crucial part in the third goal. Before that, played a great kick to Havertz, almost scored from it where Charles had messed up his kick. But then after, very good anticipation, not wasting time. Caught it, Luke, uh, saw Jesus make a run, brilliant throw, and that led to the third goal to seal the game. So, brilliant David Rye performance. Think he's been pretty good ever since the Luton get, uh, games, to be honest. Ever since those mistakes, think he's been very good for us. Let's hope he can keep it up, because I think he's, you know, he's been very impressive recently. And, uh, you know, very, very good performance from Raya, even though he didn't really have too much to do. That was very crucial, but again, very composed performance. And uh, again, very happy with him. Gonna give him, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 seriously very very composed performance and hope we see much more from it so i think he's been good recently but this is one of his best games for us crucial uh, going forward in the goal and very good and um, you know when he needed to make shots as well as well and good overall performance as i said so very happy eight out of ten and um, ben white again another good performance i'm gonna i'm gonna give him an eight out of ten as well very good and then um, people were saying lots of stuff about ben white over this past little week saying he's not good enough you know he's rubbish stuff like that always thought it was a bit harsh because he's been playing through an injury and you know what do you know two weeks rest he looks a little bit more fit now and you're seeing the, the qualities he has didn't really need to overlap too much but defensively did very very well against Eze who was on that side sometimes or if it was Schlupp or you know whoever went on that side he did very very well against good defensively very good on the ball and you know can slot into that back three as well so very good performance on Ben White and looked much much better than what we've seen from these past few weeks so very happy with him let's hope he can keep it up but you can see that when Ben White gets a good rest and he isn't playing injured he's still a very reliable player and still a very good player and you know don't no one needs to be writing him off saying he's rubbish stuff like that so very good performance on Ben White and um, on to Saliba Saliba again good performance probably going to give him a 7 out of 10 to be honest you know not as good as the other two I thought but still pretty good maybe I'm being harsher you could easily give him an 8 but thought he did his you know uh, job pretty well we're just so used to Saliba being pretty good nowadays that we don't really you know we're not really surprised by the standard he puts up nowadays uh, very good on the ball did his job defensively not really one to shout about but again did his job very happy with William Saliba Gabriel Magalhaes in my opinion I'm going to give him my man of the match very good overall performance I mean you can see some of his uh, numbers here 69 touches eight duels one five aerial duels one he won possession five times five clearances four touches in the opposition box one possession three times as well three shots one goal as well so very good overall performance from uh, Gabriel Magalhaes and you can see he uh, well, you can see that I saw overall as well that um, Gabriel Magalhaes he's now scored 12 Premier League goals since his debut uh, for Arsenal nobody's uh, scored more in that time so you can see he's a big big threat and you can see as well, Arsenal have now scored, I believe that's 13 goals from Premier League set pieces. So set pieces were just so, so threatening nowadays. Very, very good with that. Big uh, credit to Nicolas Jova and, you know, very happy with that. And Gabriel, again, just shows the threat he is in the air with scoring that amount of goals. Very, very big threat. But you can see those numbers again. Got his goal. You know, the second goal, uh, I thought it was his. I think it's so unlucky that it's not gone down as his because it looked like it was going on target to me. But they're giving it as an own goal is what it is. But yeah, Gabriel, absolutely crucial. Not only going forward, you know, very good headers, very good leap for the first one. Good positioning for the second one. Those are two crucial set-piece goals. But again, defensively, still very good. On the ball, very underrated. Won all his duels, uh, aerial or on the ground. Very, very strong in, uh, you know overall as well so physical just such a good player and i feel like you know not, not as arsenal fans i think arsenal fans rate him highly but maybe just the general football world they all see saliba and know how good he is which is fair enough
enough, but they kind of overlooked Gabriel. And this guy, in my opinion, yes, you know, in my opinion, I think he's, you know, up there with Saliba, but maybe some people would disagree. Genuinely think this guy's absolutely unbelievable. And I think, you know, we need to be continuing, because I think Arsenal fans have, continuing to give him praise, because in my opinion, arguably one of the best left centre backs in the world I think he has to be up there so brilliant from Gabriel yet again scoring goals helps us in attack and uh, again defensively gonna give him gonna give him a 9 out of 10 because of the two goal well one goal but again the second goal is pretty much mainly him as well so very happy with Gabriel clean sheet as well just hope he had to come off a little, little injury Arteta said it's just a little bit tiredness I think so let's hope it's not too big because he's crucial but he put for his performance absolutely brilliant and then gonna give him a 9 out of 10 uh, on to Zinchenko Zinchenko again like Ben White I'm gonna give him an 8 out of 10 thought he looked much better because before against West Ham Fulham even Liverpool away when we drew 1-1 not being the most convincing performances from him and you're thinking um, do we need to drop him and then he got injured but look listen got a little Vest to look so much better defensively did well whoever came up against him and in possession uh, did pretty well as well he overlapped a couple of times didn't need to invert as much you know as he usually does but again good performance and you can see how much we can control the game when he's there when he's on it I still think yes he has his weaknesses but still a very valuable member of the squad and they're very happy with Zinchenko's performance as well like Ben White gonna give him an eight those two in my opinion really really impressed and look much much better than maybe the recent performances have suggested and um, into the midfield it was a uh, Declan Rice of course Rice I'm going to I'm going to give Declan Rice a 7 out of 10 didn't think he was as good as maybe the other guys but still 7 out of 10 solid performance you know uh, didn't really need to intercept as much because we're pretty much in control on the ball didn't do anything spectacular didn't think he was absolutely amazing don't know if that's just me but he did his job defensive midfielder you know we're used to Declan Rice you know before maybe in the run of games where we were bad like Fulham and uh, West Ham those losses wasn't really that good but again today we look like more back to his usual self and that was pretty good again hope that injury isn't too serious and thank uh, you because he had to come off to a little hamstring injury hoping it's not too bad have to wait and see because again he's crucial gonna give him a 7 out of 10 thought he was fine uh, Kai Havertz Havertz was again an interesting one lots of criticism coming towards his way gonna give him a 6 out of 10 just didn't you know an average performance didn't really do much defensively I didn't think he was actually as good as he usually is usually where uh, wins better duels but again did okay I guess in that aspect I don't know if I'm being nice there because on the ball simply doesn't offer enough at the moment I think it has to be said doesn't really you know drive with it too much can't doesn't have that final killer pass his shot stop is shot stopping shot uh, shot striking ball striking I should say isn't really the best as well so have it's not going to go too harsh on him need to see more but it's been you know majority of that all season just going to give him a 6 out of 10 didn't do anything too wrong but again as an attacking midfielder didn't do anything amazing either uh, similar to Martin Odegaard actually as well onto him again not too bad he puts in the work so does Havertz but you can see Odegaard when you're watching the game he's organizing the press he's run I saw a, a stat saying distance covered he's right up there absolutely brilliant um, from Odegaard you know in that pressing bit on the ball didn't really do too much so gonna give him a 6 out of 10 as well like Havertz but I know you know on the ball didn't do too much but the distance he covers the press the way he organizes the team I think that goes a little bit under the radar but I'll just give him a 6 out of 10 not his best performance but again super hard working and still absolutely love him Saka again Saka I'll probably give him a 6 out of 10 I don't know if I'm being harsh there you could give him a 7 because it was his corner that led to the Gabriel goal it was the second one that went down as an own goal don't think he gets the assist for that but again good corner not sure if I'm being a little bit harsh there to be honest I'm still going to give him a 6 for his high high standards didn't think it was an amazing performance didn't think it was poor either uh, got rid of the blonde hair lots of people are happy about that and then again you know took on his man a couple of times did a decent combinations nothing really stood out to me you know great at the moment but again not too bad not too great just a six for Bukayo Saka I didn't think it was too bad and on to the left hand side Trossard Trossard was a very interesting one as well I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 and I don't know if that's a little bit harsh actually 
because yes, he, you know, did get the goal. But first off, I didn't think he was great. He is on that left-hand side. I don't really rate him there. But again, I didn't think he was a great that first half. Didn't really get involved too much. And then missed a chance early second half. Did get the goal. Managed to stay on side. Very, very composed. And made, you know, got rid of Klein. Sent him away. And then very good finish. Uh, pretty much into that top corner. Very crucial goal as well. And after that, his confidence went up. Good combination. Going to give him a 7 no. I don't know if I'm being a bit harsh there. But overall, didn't think he was absolutely amazing. But got the goal. Then that's most important. And let's hope that helps him. Because he hasn't scored in a while. Now he has. And let's hope that helps the front three. And uh, yeah, didn't think it was anything special. But did decent from uh, Charleston I thought so uh, yeah I'll just give him a 7 out of 10 and then uh, on to it was who else was it it was Gabriel Jesus sorry Gabriel Jesus uh, he was the striker very mixed performance I thought I mean I'll bring in some of his numbers you can see it here 100% take-ons completed 15 passes into the final third eight duels won six touches in the opposition box four chances created three shots two fouls won one assist so very very interesting one i'm going to i've been leaning towards a seven slash eight i'll probably give him a 7.5 if i can do that because i really don't know what to give him the amount of times he was offside was absolutely ridiculous sometimes playing on that last little man shoulder bit you know mistimed it a couple of times and it was very frustrating but again did some good bits and uh, you know held up the ball good little dribbling as well you know when he um when we got the third goal he was doing very well good assist as i said so mixed performance some good bits some not so great bits so i'll give him a seven maybe 7.5 you could even give him an eight not sure if I'm being a bit harsh there, but not an awful performance. Thought it was pretty good, as I said. So, fair play to Gabriel Jesus for that. Gabriel Martinelli, he was the first sub that came on, I believe. And listen, again, I'm probably... I'm going to have to give him an 8 out of 10, to be honest. Because he got two goals off the bench in the 90th minute. What more do you really have to ask for? They're very similar goals, actually. Yeah, some people are saying it looked like an exact replay of uh, the first one. Uh, when he scored the last one as well. So, um, yeah, the first one, if I can remember it correctly, was in Kittier, who played him in. Uh, you know, Thierry on esque finish bottom corner and then the last one as well Jorginho good ball and again very composed finish those finishes are not easy he makes it look easy and they're very composed finish very good and they're hopefully that get, helps his confidence go up hopefully he now kicks on whether he starts on the bench or not hopefully you know that can help him and uh, yeah very very good I think that means we have to get him closer to goal always on the touchline he can do that but I prefer him closer to goal because you see how ruthless he is you can see his finishing in my opinion our best finisher at the club he's reasonably clinical and uh, yeah very much like him much closer to goal let's hope we can see more of that and you can see his numbers here only played 31 minutes eight touches in the opposition box three duels one three tackles two shots two shots on target and those were obviously the two goals so very impressive stats works hard defensively as we all know with Martinelli that's what you get with him and again need to get him closer to goal because you can see the impact he has two very clinical finishes and uh, let's hope he can kick on from here and I believe he will if he does get the start so very good for Martinelli super happy with his performance and very good cameo off the bench and on to the other sub it was Emil Smith though also got 20 minutes gonna give him gonna give him a 7 out of 10 maybe 6.5 because I thought it was I thought it was a decent don't think it was absolutely amazing like people were saying thought it was was fine a couple of little good uh, half turns you know a couple of passes he could have done better but listen glad to see him get minutes usually just comes on for the last five ten minute uh, five ten minutes this time got 20 been heavily linked with a loan to west ham doesn't look like it's going to happen looks like arteta wants to keep him if he's going to keep him needs to be giving him more minutes wouldn't mind seeing him against nottingham forest because habits hasn't really impressed yet so i wouldn't mind seeing smith roll there but seven uh, six point five out of ten i'll give him thought it was fine nothing spectacular but a decent little cam in my opinion Jorginho he came on with about 15 minutes left again thought it was a good cameo actually I do think Jorginho is one of the most underappreciated players in the club at the moment I do think people don't really rate him because he does have a mistake in him but listen I think for 10 million what we signed him for I think he's done a job done even more than that very you know he's underrated in my opinion because yes he might not be as good as Rice but Rice can learn a thing or two for him I think on the ball he's very good he you know knows the space he's reasonably press resistant he does things better than Rice but Rice has better athleticism, that's the word, and, and you know, better physicality, stuff like that. So that's why we all prefer Rice. But Jorginho, he came in, did a good job, got a very nice assist, and I think he's just super underrated. I think Arsenal fans need to maybe not, I don't know if appreciate him is more the word, but I think, you know, maybe cut him a bit of slack 
sometimes because I think he's a little bit underrated and probably gets a bit too much blame when we don't play well because I think when he's come in, he's done the job. But today, I'll give him just a, I'll give him a 7 out of 10. Did okay for what he did. And uh, yep, I really do like Jorginho, as I said, from what you can, uh, what you can hear. And then the other two subs, it was uh, Nketiah and Kiro. Uh, Kitty got an assist, did very well there, just a 6.5 probably, uh, did okay, and uh, Kirio gave him a 6, just came on for the last few minutes like in Kitty, uh, so yeah, those two did okay, and they're uh, on to the manager who obviously made those subs and, you know, did very well, Mikkel Arteta, Arteta, I'll give him... I'm gonna give him a 9 out of 10, I think. I'll give him a 9 out of 10. Obviously, I don't think the first half was absolutely amazing and scintillating. Could have done a bit better. Second half, though, when we got the third goal, thought he did well. Liked how he gave Smith throw minutes. Uh, you know, put Martinelli on, and he ended up getting two goals. That should help his confidence. Trossard, him getting a goal should help confidence. Right lineup, I like the lineup. People were complaining beforehand, but I didn't mind it. And I thought we did okay. Set pieces, does that really go to him, or do you give credit to Nicholas? over so maybe you have to make uh, you can't give him credit for that but thought he did well 9 out of 10 and did uh, pretty well you can see the xg as well i always bring that in as you know and um, you can see arsenal 3.84 crystal palace 0.35 so i do think xg that it might be a little bit deceiving because first half didn't create too much and we were pretty clinical but you can see how dominant we were resorted crystal palace to absolutely nothing they did take a few pot shots from outside the box didn't really get on to us too much. And I thought big credit for Arteta to how he sets us up. Got us out of a rut. And then, uh, you know, when you need you need to just get a win out of nowhere when you're in a rut. Even if it was 1-0, 2-0. We won 5-0. Clean sheet at home. That should hopefully give us confidence when we go into Nottingham Forest. So, Arteta, give him a 9 out of 10. Very, very happy with him. But um, just as a little summary, again, very, very, very satisfied with the win. I do know, ideally, in the first half, you want to create more. And there are some negatives to look at. But I think there's plenty of positives to look at as well. Hopefully, these players like Martinelli, Trossard, whoever, you know, get their confidence up after the goals they got. And uh, listen, you know, for, uh, we're only, I think, two points off the top with Liverpool still to play Bournemouth. So it's not all doom and gloom. Don't think the tighter race is over. Don't think, you know, our season's over. I think people who are saying that are going a little bit over the top. But we need to continue to run now. Can't just beat Crystal Palace because they are poor. We have to say that. They are poor. But they did um, beat Man United out of uh, Old Trafford. They drew mid Man City at the Etihad. So you had to give them a bit of respect and uh, you know so we did very well to beat them especially 5-0 because no game in the league is easy but we need to continue it as I said go to Nottingham Forest we have to be beating them in that big game against Liverpool so hopefully we can start the run now and brilliant to get out the route as well winning 5-0 going back coming back from the winter break I should say back in style and very very happy with the team but that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below about all my ratings do you agree with me do you not uh, let me know your thoughts about you know the overall game as well and what was what's coming up let me think probably some daily Arsenal news content we don't play till like next Tuesday so the preview will be out a little bit later see if there's any transfer news so watch out for that but make sure you check out the other videos I did such as like the live match review if you haven't checked that out that's on my overall thoughts so check that out if you've already seen it check out the daily Arsenal news video where I talked about Smith though potentially going to West Ham on loan looks unlikely now because he's obviously you know wanting to stay and Arsenal want to keep him as well so check that video out if you've already seen it but as for this one make sure you smash a like on it subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one